So let's get into um. Here it is. Uh, Tristan did an interview too. I, I want to watch that. Yeah. But apparently Andrew was talking about Palestine. So let's see this. Okay. It's, it's not too long. I want to turn to the school. Cool. We'll tell me if you get out of here. Israel. Uh, like in 50 minutes. In Gaza. What is your view of this war? I think when you call it a war, you're doing a disservice to the people who are having their limbs blown off by some of the most advanced technical weaponry on the planet. It is a genocide and it is disgusting. And it doesn't matter which side of the political spectrum you fall on. When you observe a genocide in front of your very eyes, you should be disgusted. Which side is waging genocide? The Israelis are genociding the Palestinians and you know it. Facts. As well as what type of question is that? Facts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the ratio? Like 100 to 1? Yeah. Like, Pier Pierce got to play opposition because he's in a very, he's, a, he's in a delicate spot. I don't know does. that. Well, then it seems like your bosses are not allowing you to know it. There what do you think you've called it? Hamas did on October the 7th. I haven't seen Why this interview. Why are you starting the story in the middle? Just I, didn't. I just asked you about the wider war. I'm now asking I you can't specifically about Hamas. I cannot professionally answer that question without talking about the context that led up to October 7th. Well, nothing to my mind justifies Thank you. Pause. October the 7th. All these major see? people are saying October 7th, October yeah. 7th, October 7th. Yeah. Like see? this hasn't been going on for and decades. And this is why, like, you know, it's interesting. If you look all over the world, the whole world knows that That's Israel's true. on some bullshit, bro. Yeah. Let's keep it a thousand. Even the you libs. See, everybody all around the world knows Israel's on some bullshit, right? Because the whole world knows about the history of Palestine and Israel conflict for decades, right? Se damn near seven years. But the idiots now want to say, October 7th, October 7th. Let's talk about 2014. Let's talk about 1948. Let's talk about all the fucking wars that led up to this position where these guys displaced almost a million Palestinians. I think the exact number is like 700 something thousand were displaced and, set, and exiled to Gaza. Some like 70% plus of the people that live in Gaza are descendants and or uh, refugees from pa former well, Palestine. Ryan Dawson's right. It's always war by deception. Yeah. So they use something like October 7th to justify genocide right now. Yeah. They need to just have one instance. They need to have put something in the news and then lie about it and lie about how many people died so that everybody, they can get support from the civilians to go to war. I, I'm a big person on, okay. Something bad happens. We need to analyze why it happened. We can't look at the isolated incident and make conclusions off of that. We have to look at the totality of the circumstances and assess why things happened. For example, September 11, 2001, we get attacked, right? And we know who was behind that. Them boys, Saudi Arabia, blah, blah, US deep state, all that shit. We know who did it, right? But nobody really knew why Bin Laden attacked us like that. It wasn't put out in mainstream media. Then fast forward fucking, you know, 20 something years later, Letter to America comes out and goes viral on TikTok. Everyone's shocked. Whoa, he didn't attack us because of our freedom. He attacked us because of our support for Israel. This doesn't make sense. And it's like, bro, yeah, they, haven't, they didn't tell you the guys that because they wanted to invade Iraq. It would have connected way too many dots. So you always got to look at the totality and circumstances and figure out why are we being attacked? What is leading these people to want to kill innocent Americans? And when you look every single fucking time, the bottom line is our support for Israel. Every time. That's why the whole world is aware of our fuckery with Israel. And we're the only ones sitting here saying, oh yeah, like uh, Israel, Israel. But it's like the reality is everyone in the world knows that that's not their land. Mm -hmm. No, everybody knows. You do a DNA test on some of these Israelis. They're Europeans. Pretty much all of them. I think the, Netanyahu the, is the, uh, Polish. Yeah, they're, they're Europeans. They're Eastern Europeans. Most of them, Ashkenazis, etc. They're all Europeans. None of them actually have they look white as DNA shit. that like, tries it back to that fucking part here, of the world. And they look like Piers Morgan. Like, they're, they're whiter than Aiden and Cheezer. And they're going to go and talk about how they Man, deserve let me cook. And then you got niggas like Ben Shapiro sitting here. It was actually our land based on the Bible. Oh, you mean the book that y'all guys never took seriously? Right. Now you want to use the Bible? Right. Because it says that yeah, it was your land before? He's gonna Fuck say out of here, uh, bro. Jesus was a bum and that he, he's going to disrespect Jesus, peace be upon him, and say that he was a street rat and he was going to say he's a bastard. Bro. And then he, now you're going to use the Bible. Now you're going to use the Bible. Yeah. To, to, to rationalize that it was your land first. Yeah, garbage. That's why I don't think we should ever condemn Hamas. Everybody always pressures you. Do you condemn Hamas? Can you condemn Hamas? Yeah, but why does Hamas exist? And you can really kind of, kind of par compare that to the IDF and all the funding that Israel gets every single day from the and entire Israel world. created the Hamas. Now, I want to say this, though. Yeah. There's never a rationalization to kidnap and hurt innocent people. What they did going, crossing into the border and kidnapping babies and all other shit. I don't condone that. Like, it's that. You can't kill innocent people. But a lot of those people grew up and watched their family get killed by IDF. A lot of them watched their family get arrested by IDF. A lot of them saw their family get assaulted by IDF. I guarantee you, each and every... Elon said it best when he was on... Uh, he went on Lex Friedman's podcast, Houseway. 
right? And he said, every time you kill someone, right, you've effectively increased membership for Hamas because you have now radicalized them because you killed a member of their family. And that's what it comes down to. Hamas is cre was created by Israel. Mm -hmm. Does that condone their actions? Uh, sorry, does that... Um, Justify. It, it, does it justify their actions of killing innocent people? No. You can never kill innocent people. I don't give a fuck what their race is, etc. There's no excuse to hurt kids of any descent. However, you can't hit the hornet's nest for 70 years and expect them to not come back and sting you at some point. It's just, it's just a really sucky situation. It really is, bro, on both sides. Nothing justifies what happened before October the 7th, Pierce. Mm -hmm. This is the exact point. So you're talking to a man. I don't know what answer you expect from me, because mm -hmm. let's forget the fact that I'm a Muslim. You're talking to a man who is fighting oppression to the best of his Allah. ability because he believes that the people in charge of the world are enslaving us all to the point where I detriment my own life. I end up in a jail cell because I'm speaking against oppression. Then you're asking me what I would do if my family was you're blown not in to a jail. pieces. You're not in a jail. Hang on. You're asking you're me not... what I would do if another government Andrew. came along and you blew my family to pieces? You weren't put in a jail cell because of any oppression. Absolutely I was. You weren't. Of course you I were was. put in jail cell because you've been accused of serious sexual crimes. I would crimes. not have been accused if I was not monumentally successful in speaking the truth. Let me ask you again. It's a simple question. Some people can answer it straight away, including pro-Palestinians people I've had on my program. Many are very quick to say absolutely. Do you believe Hamas are a terror organization? And that's a very interesting question, but I think you're peddling asininities. Well, just answer the question. Can somebody do me a favor? Google Plus, asininities and find out if it's a I word. know what it means. If Hamas is a terrorist organization, so is the IDF. True. They both are. Yeah. I they, think they're both terrorists. They, they want you to say condemn Hamas because they want to get a moment of submission for people that are pro-Palestine. Yeah, I condemn both. They're both terrorist organizations. Uh, Fast says... Both um, of them kill innocent people. Uh, well, one a lot more. Fast yeah. says, Mayan, I need some advice because this happened. And is it, is it even true that Hamas really killed innocent people like that? They lied and said, oh, they're raping babies, they're burning babies. A lot of that turned out to be false. Yeah. Like, were they really doing what they claimed? There were definitely some casualties, but they sensationalized it. And then also, they don't want to report that IDF actually indiscriminately killed Israelis as well because they just didn't want to deal with it. Meyer, I need some advice because it happens too much. I'll bring a bitch home, but refuses to smash. Shall we just chill and it's boring as fuck? What would you do in that situation? Thanks, fam. Um, you need to escalate more. Yeah, when you got to turn her on. Her. You got to you got to escalate her more, bro. She knows why she's there. You're just not getting her horny. Yeah, you didn't do the work beforehand enough. Also, if she refuses to smash, that means that she will smash. You just haven't convinced her yet. You're just not convincing enough. You know how many girls like well, back in the Haram days will come over and say, "I'm not gonna have sex," and then you're like, "Okay," and then you just end up having sex anyway. Yeah. I'm sure like you know what it is. Go, women need plausible deniability. It's an uncomfortable truth. They need plausible deniability. So you can't make feel her feel like, like a hoe. She yeah. feels like she's saying. Uh, when she comes over to your house, like, I'm not going to have sex because she doesn't want to feel like a hoe. So just make her feel comfortable and not like she's get, you're going to repeat this yeah. everywhere. You, you want to escalate throughout the time you're with her. That's like it's nice. Grab her by the pussy. Think of it this way. Wrong. Bro. When you turn. <laughs> well, that's a dad. What you got to do, bro. You got to think of this. Women get turned on like a volume knob. Men get turned on like a light switch. You turn a light switch on. Boom. Light comes right on. Right. With women, you got to slowly dial it up. Okay. And you can't dial it up too much because then it'll fucking blow the speaker out. So you got to do it nice and slow and dial it up. That's how women operate, bro. So be patient and escalate properly. Hey, thanks for 20. W. Meyer to Seeker helped me brush up on my talking points for Thanksgiving from the river to the sea. Hey, maybe you don't talk about this for Thanksgiving, man. Maybe yeah, your auntie, bro. let your program bot auntie and uncle. Let and them just and also, I don't, I don't know why. I mean, I'm just going to say this. A lot of you guys have nine to fives, et cetera. Bro, guys, don't talk about this at work, bro. Like, just don't do it, man. You never know who's over, who's listening, et cetera. Like, bro, keep it like this conflict. Right, we're on rumble shots of free speech, etc. We're talking about this shit, guys. Don't talk about this at the dinner table. Don't talk about this shit at work, unless like you know you're all pro Palestine or all of you are pro Israel, whatever. You're gonna trigger people on both ends, so just make sure that you keep this shit out of the workplace, man. I don't want none of y'all getting fired for your political views, man. It's already gonna be an election year, so don't get fired for your political views, guys. Okay, yeah. Uh, Neon's Let's find another day. Neon's community is all mad, saying like I'm jealous and talking shit, bro. I don't jealous give a fuck. What? I don't give a fuck about views at all. What is annoying and what I'm trying to tell you, this is to Neon's community. All of you are falling for a scam relationship and are sipping for a girl that doesn't give a fuck and is profiting off of you being a stupid loser, Back. chronically online, living through a streamer that doesn't know you either. You are wasting your time and energy and you are wasting your masculine imperative. You should be creating a life for yourself. Stop caring and investing your energy into a relationship that you're not part of. What the fuck are you doing with your life? It literally upsets me to see so many dudes fall for this. Instead of wasting your energy looking at a screen all day, 
Go outside and make a life of your own. Create something. Do something. If you don't want me to stream with your streamer, you, you just want to go use them for views. I won't go on the stream. He asked me. I don't give a fuck. I don't need views. None, that's not important. That stuff doesn't make me happy. What makes me happy is creating and doing better every single day. And I see all these people who are still invest. And so many sims have been created from this relationship, more than I've ever seen. The OnlyFans bubble has created an epidemic of simp fucking losers. And you guys, all of you are creating a hub for it. All around the world, everybody laughs at you losers. Thanks. Trust me. And everybody's laughing when you're posting Including pictures of yourselves. It's pathetic. Wake up. Including what are you girls, doing? What are you sent for? Laugh at you. What are you doing with your time? This is your life? Fine. Let's get back to the video. Shit is crazy, bro. It really, it's, it's actually fucking insane. It's very frustrating, yeah. No, dude, I... I dude, I, I... And the thing is, I, the reason why I hate simps is because they're the reason why the sexual marketplace is the way that it is. Because Since you inflate these bitches' egos. Yes, thank you. And we're yes. rewarding, Neon's community, you are rewarding online prostitutes instead of actually good, respectful, modest women. This is why the Middle East is better and this is why Islam they is shame necessary. Women. Because they shame. they shame this behavior. But when all you fucking losers give attention, time, and money to girls that are online prostitutes, then the good, respected women get no attention. And then you become weaker and whores become stronger. Dumbass. Fuck, man. Am I, am I too angry right now? No, 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 no. Keep yeah, cooking, yeah, yeah. bro. Okay, okay, okay. Keep okay, cooking. Okay. I mean, they yeah, need to hear this shit, That bro. was good. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. Back yeah, to we'll geopolitics, we'll man. Yeah, back to geopolitics. If it's not, make sure it's added to Webster on top G's orders. Okay. Just, are they a terror group? You're peddling asininities because I'll tell you why, Pierce. Let me answer the no, question. No, I'm not. Of course you are. It's a simple question. That's like me asking. I'll tell you why I asked. Because the let, UK, let, where you were born. You know what's funny? From when we first met, we swapped. I'm bald now and you have hair. I just <laughs> <laughs> prescribe Hamas as a terror They also prescribe me as dangerous to children in schools. Let me explain something to you, Pierce. You're not if prescribed sit, as that. If I were to sit here and say, is stealing wrong? And you'd say yes, and I go, ah, but what if the person stealing is trying to feed their family and if they don't, their family are gonna die? Is it still wrong? You're trying to take a so very equating... nuanced and complicated argument no. and reduce it down no, to I'm one not. sentence, no, which not. is failure. You're trying to equate stealing with a mob of terrorists breaking over a border, going to peaceful- Is that what Israel did? Wait a minute, pause, a mob pause. Of Wait a... Okay, but the IDF has killed thousands of innocent children since, this since 1948. And they even have a term, it's called mowing the lawn, where they go into Gaza periodically and just kill people. So if you're going to go ahead and use that framework of, oh, they're peaceful people, and they went in there and killed them, blah, blah, blah. You have to assign the same terminology to the IDF. The difference is that the IDF is backed by the U.S. government. That's the difference. They're both terrorist organizations. Right. They keep saying, like, condemn Hamas. But they're making missiles out of water pipes. Yeah. Like, yeah. in an open-air prison. Like, they're, like, yeah. looking at the houses that are rubble, making pipe bombs. And you're like, Hamas. Like, it's not even close. Yeah. It's, it's not a war. It's literally the Europeans versus the Native Americans. Yeah. It's the most, it's advanced military with yes. nukes and missiles and spies and fences versus bow and arrow. Yeah. Yeah. Not a war. Not at all. Free Palestine chat. Facts. Free Palestine. Men, over let me finish. And, and killing people. Is that going, what Israel did? Going through a border on October the 7th. Oh, October the 7th. Uh, massacring it, young people at a festival, massacring families in their homes in a kibbutz, setting fire to them, cutting their heads off, killing babies. Oh, killing it was 40 the most, babies. That was true. Well, fine. Were the babies vaccinated? <laughs> Why are you being flippant? I'm not being flippant. The point I am I making... I find that funny. No, but the point I am making is that the media lies, firstly. No, no. Secondly, I can secondly, ask you. We can ask... I can ask you about different things at the same time, right? Sure. So I'm asking you, first of all, specifically, what is your reaction to what happened on October the 7th? Sure. I'll answer the question professionally. I do not condone the loss of human life on either side. Mm -hmm. I think anybody doing anything which directly damages civilians is disgusting and abhorrent. However, I would be an amateur if I could not sit and pretend I do not understand the motivations behind either side. This is not even me taking a side. I understand why Israel is doing what it's doing. I understand why Palestine is doing what it's doing. However, I still call the Israeli actions absolutely abhorrent and genocidal. Okay, we're going to come to Israel's actions. I promise you. We will ask that question specifically. And here's the thing. The whole world knows this too. It's only in America where we are so stupid and aren't aware well, he, this is from UK, of this but. shit. No, no, no. I, I know that. I know that. But I'm saying like all over the world, people know this. But in America, no one knows. If you went and asked an, an average American, hey, 
Um, how do you know how long Israel has existed and how it came to existence? Most Americans would not be able to tell you. They don't have any tell me I'm lying. 90% of Americans would not be able to tell you the real history of Israel and how Israel came to be. They would not be able to tell you. They would not know who Ben Gurion is. They, uh, they would not know who Ben Gurion is. They would not know about what Zionism is. Bro, yeah, matter people of fact, don't even know what Zionism yeah, is. Yeah. Tell me about yo, me, you, and Nick were the only guys talking about it. Talking about Zionism yeah. before this conflict. Yeah. Tell me I'm fucking lying. Yeah. 90% plus of people in Zerka 2 in Zerka 2 yeah. we were the only big streamers only that ones. talked about Zionism we were the only ones now yeah. everyone's running around Zionism Zionism, Zionism. bro we were talking about this shit back in the fucking if summertime to be honest I think all the strikes that I had on YouTube were bullshit I'm gonna say here I got banned on YouTube for talking about Zionism that was the real reason they targeted me but before I had I started platforming people that were talking about Israel they didn't really take me down to that level once I started realizing how Zionism was, was one of the biggest control mechanisms in media, yeah. bank. That's when they started to target me. That's when I started getting Dude. random strikes for old videos. That was the same reason you probably got demonetized. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what actually targeted, but people weren't speaking about it before that. Now it's now, now it's the, out there. The cat's out the bag. Yeah. And now it's out there. You can't avoid it. So now people are doing their research and figuring it out. But bro, we were the only streamers. Me, you, Nick, Zerka, talking about Zionism. No one Hats even knew what the fuck it was. I was the A24 chat. We were no one knew. We were anti-Semitic before it was cool. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. Don't clip that. <laughs> but really, really. In real talk, well, I'm, I'm a Semite, so I actually am a Semite. I, me too. I love Jews. I really love Jews. I love. I am a real. I Arab. actually do. But some so, people don't even know Zion. I asked Aiden. He's like, what Zionism? You're like, he, yeah, bro, yeah, yo, he it, was tweeting like prayers for Israel. Just yeah, know they, they, they don't, they don't even know, bro. So like, my thing is like, now this, that's what I'm trying to say. 90% of Americans don't really know shit about this conflict and don't know what's going on until October 7th. People started researching, but no one knew what it was before October 7th. Nobody. We were the only ones talking about it. Do you have enough time? Because this is a perfect segue. Speaking that's about right, the American, right, right. no, 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 I'm asking like how much time do you have? If I can like make a quick. Yeah, yeah go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So today I'm so out. This is how uh, we can get a, a sense of like how much Americans know. Here now control. I'll be asking both pro-Israel oh. and pro-Palestine what they think. The occupation of Palestine is the cause of all evil. The only way to stop violent men is with other violent men. Rockets, murdering, ripping. Babies, elderly, they cold bloodly murder them. These babies that were slaughtered. Where are they? We have 800! Face. I can interview whoever I like. You can continue somewhere else. Can you summarize what you're protesting about? We received surprise attacks by Hamas from Gaza. Rockets, murdering, raping uh, our Israeli citizens. And so we are protesting the support of Israel, the support of Israel to defend <laughs> itself, and the termination of Hamas. We are Hatch trying way. to support the elimination of Hamas as a terrorist organization that Hatch has been way. democratically elected to lead the Gazans. We're protesting the occupation of uh, Palestinian land for 75 years. They've been occupying a Palestinian land. They've been preventing them from food. The fact that Israel provides electricity and water out of humanitarian look, look at this dude. This is the type of dude to be like talk about to pay for OnlyFans. You see how this woman is running the relationship? Yeah. He doesn't yep. even give a fuck about Israel. He's like, I don't want, I don't want to watch football and drink yeah, he's just beer. following her. He's just holding a sign. He's just holding a sign. He's like, bro, when can I go back to watch <laughs> football? This bitch is running his whole life. Aid does not mean that we have to. <laughs> just like is, uh, America is not expected to provide. Neon simps. Hold on. This is what you're destined for. No. You and the sign. No, no, no. You are obligated to give them food and water, yeah. bitch, because you took their land, Cook. right? And then, not only did you take their land and their resources, you can you pretty much sequestered them in a small area that's five miles wide, 25 miles long, and they don't have their own infrastructure, Bruh. okay? And you're collectively punishing all of them for the actions of a few. No, you absolutely are responsible for giving them water and everything else like that. This bro's on all because you took their right land. Now. Yeah. When the police arrest you, yeah, right, and they take you into custody, they are not. You are. They are. Um. They are not responsible for your sustenance. Mm. That's effectively what Israel did to these guys mm -hmm. in Gaza. You took their land from them. You took their freedom from them. So guess what? Now you're on the hook for supporting them with their humanitarian needs. But now you want to pull it out and punish. 2 million plus people for the actions of 30K that are hiding underground. And then on one end, you're saying, okay, I'm going to bomb over uh, above uh, ground, kill innocent people. And they'll say, oh, no, but uh, they're underground. Why are you bombing above ground if you know that they're underground? You've been making a huge spectacle about these underground tunnels, but you're bombing above ground. Tell me how that makes sense. Mm. Anyway.
Look at his fucking loser husband. Yeah. Provide electricity and water <laughs> to Mexico. These people control your electricity, your food, your medicine. You can't leave the city that you were born in. There is no single one place in Mashallah. Gaza that is free for people to run. 1,300 Mashallah. people Facts. been slaughtered. Innocent, young children by... Why is everybody like supporting Zionism look kind of gay? <laughs> like I already know that he's pro Israel. Well, I mean, obviously the flag, but just like Sasa, Sasa. The uh, Palestinians and Hamas, those kind of things happen only in the Holocaust. They say we slaughtered <laughs> the babies. Where are they? Where are they? Does, does... We have 800 that just died. We're protesting the worst <laughs> massacre. Uh, that... right, this is a flying raptor for the ten. You guys are the OGs when it came to calling out the Zionists. To even bring up Zionism before was such a taboo topic, like the effectiveness of the vax in 2021. You all the realists in the influencer space. Yep. <laughs> And actually now everybody's talking about the yeah, vaccine. Go, go, go. You remember that was one of my strikes. Like every time, I just want to put it out there. I was really talking about it when you couldn't talk about it. When you couldn't talk about it. But people don't give me credit for that. All they're going to do is try to say, you know, they don't talk about the negative things, right, Myron? No, they never do. I will say this though. The people that are ripping the, po the posters of the kidnapped kids. Yeah. Come on, man. What's wrong with y'all, man? Like you think so? Yeah, I saw those posters in Brickle. Yeah, yeah, and 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 like I've seen people like in New York and shit like that ripping it off. Yeah, yeah. Like, dude, we're above that, guys. That we're above that. It's bad optics. Like it's it, we're above that. You know what I mean? You're not helping the cause by ripping down posters of kidnapped Israelis that have nothing to do with this, by the way. Yeah, true. And and punishing them and their families. True, true. For true. example, Osama, right? Yeah. In his letter to America, because I read it, he blamed the oh my God! he blamed the American public, right? And he justified killing innocent Americans because he said, you guys are the ones that put them into office. So we're going to go out and you pay the tax dollars that fund the military that oppresses us. That was his oh rationalization God. to go ki to, to kill innocent people. What did we do? We went after him and we fucking tur went crazy, right? Because he killed innocent Americans. You are literally, if you're ripping down these posters, you're doing the same shit that Bin Laden did. Mm -hmm. You are blaming innocent people for the actions of their government. You cannot rip the posters off of these innocent people and then go ahead and condemn Osama bin Laden. You are the same as him. He was kind of a W though, like let's be honest. Like he, he, he had he had aura. I mean, he was a trust fund baby. He had motion. He had a trust. He, he was a trust fund baby. I mean, his whole he was I, drippy I, too. I, I studied Osama a lot. Like I know a lot. Yeah, about no, him I, know, I, know, I know, I know, I know. But I know. um, but. His biggest thing is that fucked him up was uh, getting ostracized by the Saudi royal family. I don't know if you want me to go into all the details. Uh, cook, but, cook, 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 cook. Well, I got you here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll Let go, him cook. Uh, I'll, but, just, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it, I think ripping the posters off is, of innocent Israelis is crazy. You can't punish innocent civilians for the actions of the government. Just like Osama can't punish innocent Americans for the actions of our government. With that said, so Osama, a lot of people don't know this. Multi, multi, multi millionaire. His family, his family uh, ran and owned and operated one of the biggest construction companies in Saudi Arabia in, uh, in, in the early 1900s, right? If you took the dollars in today's dollars of what his family was worth, it was a couple billion, okay? So they had all the major projects in Saudi Arabia, etc. His father died, I think, in like a plane crash, and, um, and he had like 13 kids. Osama was one of them. He was kind of always the, uh, the odd duckling in it. And what ended up with him was when the Soviets invaded Afghanistan in the 80s, Osama led the freedom fighters to fight back against them. And guess who armed Osama? The United States of America. Okay? Why? Because Russia is an enemy of the United States. So they armed him. I think it was called the Mujahideen. Correct me if I'm wrong in the chat, guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, they, they fought and they, beat the, and they beat the Russians. Right? They got him out. Then what ended up happening was um, Saddam Hussein wanted to wage war against uh, Saudi Arabia. So what, did Saddam say, uh, so what did Osama say? Hey, Saudi government, I just led a, a revolt against the Soviets. We can fight this war. We're Muslim, it's our land, let's do it. Saudi Arabia says, no thanks, Osama. The United States is gonna back us. Why? Because Richard Nixon created the petrodollar and said that we will forever protect you, blah, 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 all this other shit, as long as you, know, you do all your oil deals in dollar and that's how the United States is a reserve currency. That's a whole other conversation. But the point is, since the 70s, the point is, is the Saudi government rejected Osama's, uh, I guess, offering to fight for Saudi Arabia. People don't know this. Osama is a Saudi, not, not by, uh, he's actually, I think, like Yemenis or something like that, ethnically, but his family were Saudi citizens. So they deny his help, and he's like, what the fuck? He gets angry because he doesn't want Westerners fighting a, a holy war. So he, he, he starts talking shit about the Saudi government. Well, we all know what happens when you talk about the Saudi government. Ask Khashoggi, right? 
They strip him of his Saudi passport. I love Saudi Arabia, by the way. Yeah. They they strip him of his passport and fucking exile him. Where does he go? Goes to my homeland. Stays in Sudan in the 90s. Okay. He becomes radicalized. He starts to hate the United States. Right? And that was the beginning. Um, And that's why I always laugh when the people say, oh, we invaded Iraq for terrorism. Uh, No. Osama hated Saddam. Absolutely hated him. He wanted to go to war and fight him and kill him on behalf of Saudi Arabia. So it makes zero sense once you actually look at the history why we invaded Iraq. Saddam has nothing to do with Osama. They were enemies. But that is the general story of Osama and what ended up happening with him and how he became radicalized. He was a U.S. asset first. He read a vault. And then the Mujahideen, guess what they switched to? Al-Qaeda. Bruh. Give me one in the chat if y'all enjoyed that and that makes sense. That our people have suffered in a couple generations. And we're also calling for the immediate release cooking, of all civilians that were taken prisoner, women, children, whole families. The occupation of Palestine is the cause of all evil. The occupation of Palestine is what started this whole mess. We shouldn't but just take a look at the last event and then judge the whole Palestinian. Nice, all once. People have been under nice. occupation right. for... Let's go back to the Because it's a complex story, so I want to make sure that it makes sense to your audience. But yeah, guys, that, that's the general. I gave y'all a very summarized version. Um, oh yeah, and Osama was like getting a, 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 a he, he was what? getting like, um, he was a trust fund baby, so he was getting millions of dollars every month. That's how he was able to fund the Mujahideen to fight the Soviets off. He was getting money from America and he had his own money and was uh, funding the war. That's how he was able to fund terrorism is because he's fucking rich. Flying Raptors says, Myron's right in a way. Osama was like Fidel Castro. He didn't lead a revolutionary movement, but instead hijacked it and became the poster boy. Osama was a Wahhabi at heart. True, 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 true. True. But I... Don't think he did 9 11. That's what's basically why I was saying. Like, he was involved, but he didn't do it alone. No. No. Actually, he wasn't even the mastermind. That was kind of That's what I'm saying. And that's also what's annoying about like America believed that they made him the bad guy for so yeah. long because he had a beard and he had a turban and he had yeah. a whole I, I think what Osama did was he funded everything, but he wasn't the mastermind. The mastermind Absolutely was not. actually Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who's alive to this day. He's in Guantanamo Bay. Um, you think Osama's still alive and they just lied? You remember when they, nah, had, they, supposed they to actually do it? got him, bro? But come on, they threw him in an ocean and didn't do an autopsy? They, well, what type of the, the Navy SEALs would really throw him in the ocean? Oh, yeah, we just got rid of him. No evidence that we killed him, but he's dead. And John Cena goes at the W. They, they didn't want to radicalize um, anybody by posting pictures of him or whatever. Like, why that. wouldn't they do an autopsy? They don't have to, There's don't no need. They shot him and killed him. Why? How do, do we know that? I mean, bro, he's he's, he's gone, man. I mean, he hasn't well, made a video. Well, 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 think about it. If, if if he wasn't dead, wouldn't you think the first thing he would do is say, "Y'all niggas lied. I'm alive." Maybe they paid him. He was also working. I don't know. I, I don't. It's just that's the, that's doesn't make any sense. Yeah. The biggest target, the number one wanted man yeah. for 15 years, they throw him in the ocean. I think a big part of it was they didn't want to radicalize uh, other people. And shit radicalize like that. who? Oh, more Muslims? Yeah, like get people, you know what I mean? Yeah, a picture wouldn't really but make a I, difference. Don't get it twisted. I, I think Osama was, in fact, he by definition, he, he was a terrorist. I'm just giving you guys the background story as to what radicalized him. That's what happened. Just saying, put the mic a little closer, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's what radicalized him. Do you accept that was an act of terrorism? It's an interesting question because... Once it's not again, really. It is. No, it's a very it straightforward question. Because you're the person who would have called Nelson Mandela a terrorist while he was still in jail. And one person Pause real quick. Someone asked him to think, why did they put him in the ocean? Because it, it uh, align, uh, aligns with uh, Islamic faith of how to dispose of a body. Why would the Navy SEALs give a fuck about Islamic faith? They, they wanted they to... They would uh, care about Osama's faith? They wanted to come wanted. Off, it, Obama did that. Obama wanted to come off as a humanity. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because like, Obama's a Muslim. I don't know if he is. But I know that was a political call on Obama's end. Should to call like, him Malik to be able him. to say. Because he, ma- he made sure when he did the press conference to talk about how they disposed of the body. That was a, when he made that announcement, he was real particular on, we, you know, in accordance with Islamic law, we... Uh, Obama's re- a Muslim re- low key, huh? You know, we removed the body, you know, etc. He was real big on that. Mm. Uh, I don't know if he's a, I don't know if he's a Muslim. Maybe Mike just asked him. I don't think so. Freedom fighter. I wouldn't for have me to answer that. the question, yes, you would have. For, the, for me to answer the question, I have to be very professional, Pierce. For me to sit on the outside in Romania with no personal involvement in Israel Palestine, it's easy for me to say, yes, it was an act of terror. However, if I was in Gaza, if I was in an open air prison, if my family had been annihilated by bombs from mm. the sky, mm. if everybody I knew had suffered the loss of a loved one, if I had no chance of any kind of freedom or democracy or standard of life, would I believe it was an act of terror or would I believe it's an act of resistance against oppression. You have to be That's very true. careful how you answer these so questions. So what do you think? I think I understand. I really enjoy watching him talk about Israel for the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was finally 
What happens when you take people it. and put them in such an inhumane condition? Yep. So anybody to sit and they can't and leave say Gaza. Take people and put them in absolutely inhumane conditions uh -huh. and give them no standard of life, and they're not allowed to ever fight back, or they are. But terrorists. I can agree with you. Anyone who well, does wait a that is an amateur. I can agree with you that the plight of the Palestinians for many decades has been absolutely shameful. So what did we no, think was going to happen, wait, Pierce? No, nothing justifies what happened on October the 7th. So what are they nothing. supposed to do? Nothing. So what are they supposed to that do? That was an act of medieval barbaric terrorism. Nothing justifies did it. They suffer and your acts of medieval, your, did they suffer your acts of medieval barbaric terrorism? Did they suffer acts of medieval Did they suffer acts of medieval barbaric terrorism before that date? Yes. And it's yep. unfortunately an eye for an eye T in this world. Tell me, I'm not condoning. Give me, I'm being a professional and answering give to me you one why example, it happened. Give me one example of where Israel, without any provocation, <laughs> went into, well, no, wait, a specific question, went into Gaza and massacred 1,500 innocent people, cutting their heads off, taping and boasting about what they'd done. Back 2014, they went in there and killed 500 yeah. kids. Survivors. Pierce, what are you talking yeah, about? He's, 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 they literally have a term called cutting the grass. They've been killing Palestinians for decades. They've spread it out, right? They've intelligently spread it out periodically to not make it look too crazy. They hit it from the news. And, but, it and the hide it, but they hide it from the news, etc. But they've been doing it for decades, Pierce. Because they control the news. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Seriously, Pierce? Have you heard about all the, the words that they use to describe Palestinians? Like pig and goy or like just targets. I've heard of like some of the Yehudi words to describe them. It's like they call them target practice. It's disgusting. Yeah. You know, they wouldn't, of course, have done that. And they're kidnapping the old grandmothers and bringing them back to Israel. Kidnapping babies. Kidnapping children. When is Israel actually... Is gone? there any evidence that they were kidnapping babies? I haven't seen any. Is there any of that at all? They well, keep actually, saying this. Actually, you know what? On, on the GoPros, you could see them, uh, on the GoPro footage, you could see them like taking custody of children. You do see that. Maybe they're just bringing them to a safer place. Maybe they were helping them take the Shahada. <laughs> this guy. Mashallah. I think they did and it. Well, I'm, I'm joking, Jack. On the scale of October the 7th. There's literally endless examples of that. Give me one. In 2014, they were bombing civilians. Give me one. No, no. You know what? Pierce. Thank, thank you. you. See? I'm not there you go. There we and go. I did there not watch go. this interview before. <laughs> No, no, I'm not talking about I did not watch this interview before, for guys. Retaliation for rocket strikes, and there's an arguable point, as there is, for example, Andrew I'm knows. vehemently against the expansion of the settlements on the West Bank. I think there are legitimate questions about the proportionality of Israel's response here. Yeah, legitimate but in terms, questions. But in terms of what Hamas perpetrated on October the 7th, there is no, no, no instance of Israel doing that to the people of Gaza. First and you first. have to accept that. No. If you don't accept that, you're either deluded or you're deliberately not wanting to say the obvious, which is that was an act of terrorism because you're concerned about upsetting people in Palestine. Is that, is that the case? Let me go back to my first point when I said you're peddling asininities. The reason I said that is because to look at a situation, no matter how heinous, and to ignore all of the context yes. and pretend that you and do take not, that one instance you, mu you then... must know the totality of the circumstances. Right, and he does. He's... You can't just look at October 7th. Whenever people just look at October 7th, you are room temperature IQ. Again, we're not justifying kidnapping or killing innocent Israelis. I condemn that. However, you must understand from where these attackers' mind state came from. Okay. Israel has been doing October 7th every month for decades. For decades. Facts. October 7th, the beginning of human history. <laughs> they've been doing October 7th since May 15th, 1948. That's how long they've been doing October 7th. Why said situation happened? Is in, Nothing is justifies asinine. terrorism on that scale. Nothing. Is, is asinine. No, no, it's not. It Hamas, is. Ham, because it's not about justification, Let me tell you why. Pierce, it's not about justification. Let me tell you, no, it's no. about understanding the realities let of me, the thank world. Thank you. Let me tell you the realities of the world. Hamas came to power in 2005. Yeah. Hamas's initial founding charter made it clear that they are for the eradication of Israel. Oh, shit, my bad, shit. And on October the 7th, they prove what that means is they will kill every Jew they can get their hands on. They are an existential threat to people in Israel and to Jewish people. And that is, I'm afraid, the purest personification of a terror group. I also think by doing what they did, as they have done since 2005, they weren't representing innocent Palestinian people in Gaza. Who are suffering they, now. they knew, yes, but Hamas knew when they did what they did that Israel would respond the way they did and that thousands of innocent Palestinians would get killed. They knew that and they still did it. So my question for you is why can't you, which is my position on this, is very straightforward. What Hamas did was an act of terror. An absolutely despicable act of terror and should be called exactly what it is. And they are now demonstrably a terrorist group. He's never going to move on from October 7th. That, yeah. Like everybody mentioned was going to use that forever. This is yeah. the 9-11 of Israel-Palestine. Yeah. But it's um, a bigger lie. Okay, in America and other countries. 
And to try and pretend they're not makes you sound like Jeremy Corbyn. I can't think of a worse insult to throw at you, right? So <laughs> I don't so, think me and Corbyn so, agree on but that. But I also think there are legitimate questions to come about the way Israel's responded. We can come to that. But I just want to ask you one more time. Is what Hamas did on October the 7th... Oh, my God, you what see what I'm like, Yo, if Pierce is always like... He always wants to get Hamas. a gotcha moment so you know, bad. You know, you know how you deal with this shit? I condemn the IDF and Hamas. They're both terrorist organizations. Next question. That's how you deal with this shit. What are you going to say now, Pierce? You know what I mean? You want to play both sides? I can play that game too. Bro, they're both terrorist organizations. But let's look at the kill count on the IDF side versus the Hamas side. IDF's killed more. Chat, ironically, IDF has killed more. Ironically, spam Hamas right now. Ironically, ironically. But I want to see everybody say An act of terrorism. I think, Pierce, it is peddling asininities for you. Asininities. That enslaving so you sound people. like Jeremy Corbyn. Now. No, let me answer the question. Fifteen times he refused to answer the let question. Let me answer the question. You're now up I'm to about. I'm refusing. You're now if about you three or four. If you lock, are they a terror group or not? They're one team's freedom fighter, oh, and they're shit. deemed a terrorist group. What do group. you think? I think that if Three you lock people in an open air prison and steal their land, they're going to retaliate. So they're not a terror group. I think they're going to retaliate. They're not a terror group. One team's terrorists is another. Okay, we're now up to about fighter. eight. Are they a terror group? And also another thing I want to make clear to you, Peter. Only Jeremy Corbyn has done this. Done what? Refused to answer the question. I think that what they are doing is seemly deemed an act of terror by the people that the terror... Don't use Weasley words. They're not Weasley. Of course the Israelis think they're a terror group, and of course some, of course, the Palestinians Actually, think they're freedom fighters. Most it's of stupid the, that you're asking the question. Most of the civilized clear. world thinks they're a terror group committed an act of terrorism. It's not difficult. What I, they did was an act of terrorism. And I think that if Israel continues to, uh, con to conduct to, acts of terrorism on come, the Palestinian people, they're going to do nothing I'm but gonna strengthen come, the reaction. I'm gonna, well, that's a different conversation I'm about to have with you about Israel's response. But before I get there, one more time, <laughs> is that's Hamas okay. a terror group who committed an act of terror. Move on. I think that when you lock people in an open air prison, you're gonna have okay, to you're nice. not gonna retaliation. Nice. You're not no, gonna because I have to, there's people who are, firstly, first things I wanna say, Pierce. You don't mind me saying, I think it's spineless. Sure. Yeah. I do. Whatever, bro. You sound like Jeremy Corbyn. Well, that, that isn't Did you see my interview with him? No. Right, no one gives a fuck, times Pierce. last week, I asked him the same question. 15 times he prevaricated and wouldn't answer. Eventually, when someone does that enough times, you know what they really think. Okay. You don't think they're well, a terrorist. Well, let me answer. You don't think they're interrupted. a terrorist. No, what I think is this. On certain Because I'd be really curious what you think an act of terror is if it's not massacring 1,500 innocent people, it's not including that. Holocaust survivors, Pierce. kidnapping babies, All right, decapitating bro. people, Pierce. cutting their limbs. Pierce. Holocaust survivors, bro, what are they, 115 years old? They keep saying this, and like for some reason, they keep getting younger. They said, this is the last, this is the last Holocaust survivor 10 years ago. When I was in school, they had them. Though This is the last one. I was like, whoa, they're still alive? I remember thinking that back when in fifth grade, they brought in Holocaust survivors. I'm, I'm not saying Holocaust, I'm just saying like, are these, did, really? These dudes? The, and I'm like, how old could they be? They're probably like 98, 100 years old. These are the last three ever. Okay, and then five years yeah, later. Yeah, then there's more. <laughs> and then Hamas, and then like, bro, like 20 years later. How, I'm 25 now. I'm 25, and they're still hol how old? So if they were like 20 years old in 1935, let's say, that's 90 years ago. That's almost yeah. 90 years ago. Yeah, they're 110. Yeah, crazy. Shut the fuck up, man. Hats, wait, stop. What the fuck? Math, a math, raping women. Yeah, talk about missing limbs. We're gonna talk about that when we talk about what we are done. But so when we get there, it'll be in the context of you not admitting that was an act of terror. Well, let me answer the question for the final time. I am a real. By the way, yes, clip this one. I, I do believe the Holocaust happened and it was really bad. And also, I'm just saying that the people that they brought in there, I'm like, I was like, come on. And you really think that there were that many like Holocaust survivors in Israel right now? A hundred and like, stop, 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 yeah. stop. And as it definitely realist, occurred. Sometimes you do not come to the conclusion. It's definitely a clip. No, no, I said it definitely occurred. Did I just did, did I get fucked by what I just said? Nah, I don't think so. I'm good. I think so. Okay, okay, okay. Labeling good guys and bad guys. Oh, the world is not black and white. Oh, oh. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. I'll just fuck with you. Myron is also here right now. No, 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 bad guys. No. The world is not black and white. The world is actually very gray. Mm. Anybody who sits and thinks there's nothing clearly a good about guy, what, there's nothing there's gray about a good what guy did. and clearly a bad guy does not understand how the world works. And as a realist, what you do is you look at scenarios and you understand why they happen, how unfortunate they are, how unfortunate the loss of human life is, mm. how civilians die on both sides, how innocents are dying in a okay. chess game played by the elites on both sides. Yep. Both sides, you have innocent people who didn't even vote for the person making the decision. True. Who are Ensuring their death, signing their death warrants. It's unfortunate on both sides. Okay. But listen, sir, you would not advocate 
Russia doing any of the things to Ukraine that Israel is doing to to great point to to Palestine. You would not Sorry, sit Russia here. Russia has been doing exactly that. Russia has Ukraine. not done a fraction Russia of the things illegally, to Ukraine Russia, that Israel has done Russia, to Palestine. Russia illegally invaded a sovereign democratic country and has committed a barbaric democratic rampage, is debatable. Trying to seize as much of Ukraine as it can. Bombing maternity hospitals, Let me ask killing you a innocent women Let me and ask children. You a question. Right? Don't even try and have some kind of no, no. This is genuine equivocation of this. I will. A Hamas rocket, a tiny Hamas rocket that can make a pothole in the road, mm. and then they get hit back with cruise missiles. Let me ask you a question. Ukraine sent a drone and it hit the Kremlin. A drone attack. It did nothing. It damaged some some shingles. Mm. If if Russia decided to then respond with a missile attack on a hospital and annihilate eight hundred people, it has been. Do you think that would be? Allowed? So exactly what it has been. Would you advocate you for seen, that? Have you seen? Would the, you support that? Have reaction? you seen the state of Mariupol? Would which you, they leveled to the ground? The Ukrainians did level the it. Russia, correct. No, the Russians. 2014. Did. The did, Russians did the leveled Mariupol. And and my question to you is: Would you advocate those reactions? Let me ask you another question, Pierce. No, this is a I, genuine okay. question. Let me ask you a question because I want to understand no, your point. It's actually my you, interview of you. Yeah, what? but but you tried to understand mine. I just want to understand your point of view. Mm -hmm. If if I believed, or if Israel believed that one of the people in your house was mm -hmm. a terrorist and decided to destroy your entire house and kill your entire family, mm -hmm. would you sit and say, well, maybe there was a terrorist inside. I accept that. Or would you be enraged? Genuine question. Yeah, I don't think answer. you can take an individual person's response. Well, it's a bunch of individual as, people in Gaza. An, yeah, They're sure. people, individuals with right, thoughts and dreams come. and aspirations Fine. which are being annihilated. 15-year-old um, girls without legs because of cruise missiles. Yep. They are Facts. individual people. Let's They're not cattle, Pierce. Let's come to They're that. They're people. Right, and so were the people in Israel on October the 7th. And that's why it's so heinous, which right. is my exact point. But not heinous enough to reach your bar of terrorism. Let's it's move not about let's reaching your bar of terrorism. Move, no, it. It's understanding why things happen. By not saying it, you've made your position clear. Just as Jeremy Corbyn. Corbyn did. And to pretend you're any different... He's not different. getting the gotcha moment he thinks he's getting. It's it. ridiculous. Let's move on to Israel's response. Because there are legitimate questions about this. Hamas embeds itself, 35, 40,000 terrorists in my estimation. You can call them whatever you like. Um, and they're embedded amongst the civilian population, predominantly in northern Gaza. They, we know from intelligence over the last 20 years, intelligence. which you won't believe because the Matrix has made it all up, Correct. we know from intelligence that historically Hamas likes to embed itself, particularly around things like schools and hospitals yes. and mosques, okay. because that makes it more difficult if uh, the Israelis attack. Yeah. Now, Israel has killed nearly 12,000 people <laughs> in its response, right? There are many people around the world demanding a ceasefire, who think that is a ridiculously disproportionate it's response genocide. to what happened. Well, it was genocide. They would want to kill everyone in Palestine. They don't. They just want to drive them all out. Whereas Hamas do want to kill every Jew. That is actually what genocide is. You know what's actually interesting? Because you've spoken about this subject with people more who actually understand the conflict better than I do. Mm -hmm. Muhammad Hijab understands it better. Loki understands it better. I'm talking from a very general humanistic perspective. Because I don't understand the absolute intricacies like they do. Do you know what genocide means? Of course I do. Right. It's genocide means you want to eradicate an entire people based on race or ethnicity. Israel clearly doesn't want to do that to the Palestinian oh, clearly, people. Clearly not. If it did, it wouldn't tell a million of them, as it turned out, who moved south. Now, there are arguments about whether To they attack them as they moved. Well, no, pause. some people got hit. Israel does want to do, do that. They just don't want to be condemned by the international world by doing so, and they need America on their side. If it was up to the Israelis, they would have hit, dropped the fucking nuke on Gaza. If it was up to them. It's just that they would absolutely get destroyed by the international community. And I, I, Israel's already on thin ice with all the shit they've been doing. What is NATO doing? With the doing? settlement expansions, with, since the 1940s, ex, um, taking away Palestinian land while you know, increasing their settlement. Israel knows that they're in the wrong when it comes to how they've expanded their land. You know, Internationally, everyone knows that it's not their land. So they have to operate in a very... How do I say this? They have to operate in a certain fashion where they're able to do what they want to do without simultaneously telegraphing what they want to do, if that makes sense. But if I were to Israel, I guarantee you Netanyahu would have dropped the fucking nuke on Gaza by now if it wasn't for the United States being involved in Would they really have that much of a problem? NATO Secretary General says Israel does not stand alone. NATO allies condemn the horrific terrorist attacks by Hamas. Would they, what, what problems would they have if they did nuke Palestine? What was that? What problems would Israel have if they really, if they... It, it, if would they, be, it would be a media nightmare. And then the other thing, too, you got to keep in mind is that Israel is doing the best they can to keep all the rest of the Arab world from uniting and coming in, uh, coming in and attacking them. Hmm. That's something else that they're worried about. People don't know. Israel is a very small piece of land, and it's literally surrounded by countries that hate them. So um, they're in a very... 
delicate place where they have to, you know, we're waging war against Hamas because they're trying to exterminate us and they have to use a level of force to show aggressiveness against Hamas while simultaneously not using too much force so that the entire world and the Arab world unites and goes after them. Because that's Israel's worst nightmare is the entire Arab world unites and goes after them. That's what they don't want, which is where the United States comes in. Thanks for the 10. Pierce, uh, Mr. Good says, Pierce forgot the fact that in, um, how do you pronounce it, Mariupol, there are no civilians left and the hospitals were converted to Ukrainian military command posts. So, of course, Russia took them out and already rebuilt them. You, you know, it's funny. I think uh, Jackson was saying that the MSNBC finally uh, admitted that Russia's yeah, winning, won the war. Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, he, said, he, he came out here and said Ukraine lost. It's funny, that, especially. Dude, I got so much criticism. I had two Ukrainian girls on the show and I told them true. to their face that their country is losing the war. And they I got lost. so much criticism from faggots in the chat, from fucking losers. Myron, you're an asshole. You told them that they're fucking losing, blah, blah, blah. And they, I was like, they lost. I was like, yeah. dude, they lost. Oh, well, why does Ukraine still control 75% of Ukraine uh, of its land? I'm like, bro, Russia took the most important parts. They control about a quarter of the land and they control all the ethnic Russian areas. And they now have control of the, uh, the sea uh, by Crimea. What is it? Is it the Red Sea? Um, fuck, someone in the chat's gonna know. Uh... But th they got what they want. They got the Donbass region and they got Crimea. That's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. Okay? And they stopped NATO expansion. As far as Russia goes, it's a W for them. They, they have completed the objective. Because they're not in a rush to take over Ukraine. It's the, the Black Sea. Black Sea. Sorry. Okay, let's go back to... Uh, yeah, it's the Black Sea right here. Hit as they move. Oh, some people got hit. Yes. Some people got hit. You know what, You know Andrew? what happens? You know what, Andrew? Wait till it's your son, son. You know what, I Wait till it's your I son. I agree. And you know what, Andrew? War is horrific. It's horrific. The question is, is it a just war for Israel to go after Hamas? And if it is, and you believe as I do, they, Hamas has to be got rid of, how do you do that? It's if very... you don't do it the way Israel is, is doing it, how do you get rid of that terror group? Now, you won't agree with anything they're doing because you can't even categorize them as a terror group. No, the reason I won't agree with them is because I'm a human, Pierce. And please let me answer this without being interrupted. Mm. You didn't answer my earlier question soon. for a reason because you knew that you couldn't answer it without. Which, which, if you, yeah, if you got to go, I don't, I don't want to hold you. I, no. I always make you. No, we could keep going just a little bit longer. Right. My point. The question about the fact that if they decided to cruise missile your house because they thought somebody inside was a terrorist, you would not accept the loss of your family that you have raised. You would not accept that. Of course that. I wouldn't. Okay, absolutely. So let me answer this as a professional. What's funny is I'm a humanist. A like I said, a professional what, by the way? A prof the professional. What Please let me mean? answer. Let me answer. What are you? At? What are you speaking? I'm a, I'm you say a you're speaking to professional. And I'm talking about this from a humanistic perspective, mm. right? And like I said, you've talked about pe you've talked to people more knowledgeable, knowledgeable than me on the details of the subject. Right. Listen to me very carefully. I thought we lived in a democratic society. You just had 35,000 Hamas terrorists, and this is the thing that's most upsetting to mm. me. This is what genuinely upsets me. Israel intelligence will say a guy's a Hamas terrorist. Has that guy gone to a court of law? Has there been a democratic process? Has he been proven to be a terrorist? <laughs> no. They've just decided from their intelligence that couldn't see an invasion coming from hundreds of miles away. So this intelligence is actually no. It's not. It's no, not no, great. No. So they've decided no, no. this person might be an intelligence without court case, without any kind of democratic process, and because of that, they've decided to annihilate civilians along with him, and it's all just collateral damage, and nobody should care. That is not a humanistic perspective. And that Good is point. disgusting. And any person in the West who is advocating for that is a hypocrite. And because if you... it was turned on them, right. if, it, if the American government said, we think the person in your shopping mall, one of the people you were shopping alongside in the mall, might have committed a crime. We didn't take them to court. We think they might have. So we killed your whole family. Mm. Right. Get over it. He's really good at analogies and metaphors. Yeah, yeah, you yeah admit, for he, sure. He does a good job of putting it into perspective sure. where people... Absolutely. Yeah. Last is a, time is a clown and a hypocrite. So the last time, what do you expect the last, full grown men to I'm do? I'm about to respond. What do you expect full I grown men to do? Kill all of their families and leave. You gotta go. No, no, I saw. I agree with Andrew 100%. Let me prison. respond. The last time that Jewish people faced an existential threat was in World War II, and the Nazis, who wanted to take over the world and kill every Jewish person, the Nazis were ultimately defeated by Winston Churchill leading the Allies, and Winston Churchill in the process of defeating the Nazis, killed a lot of German innocent civilians in the process. Do you think that was justified? Let me ask a question. Was it, well, no, I asked the questions. Was it justified? Sir, I believe, and let me just get this right in my head. Yeah, think about it. No, I'm, I don't need to think about your question. I believe that the Nazis, which were obviously heinous, I'm not advocating anything they did, it was disgusting, the Nazis. I'm glad we beat them. I'm actually a huge well, they terrorists. fan. Yeah, they were. Right. So. I believe that they So were, when you massacre Jewish people, you're terrorists. 
When Except you when you do it in Israel. When you try and conduct genocide on a populace because you don't want them on land you say is yours, mm. then you are terrorists. It's exactly what Hamas did on October exactly the 7th. Exactly what Israel had did before that. So you've literally just described what Hamas do. You just described what Israel do. Mm. They're trying to genocide <laughs> the Palestinians as we speak. And this is the exact point. So, to so Israel, they no, absolutely are trying to. Think Israel are terrorists. I think that what they're doing now is disproportionate and genocidal. Is it terrorism? It's genocidal, so I guess that makes it terrorism. It's right. genocidal. So they're terrorists for responding to an act of terror, but the people who committed the act of terror are not terrorists. The way in which they're responding. You see, the problem Pierce, is that they've been responding for 70 fucking years. It wasn't a it's not just October 7th. They've been trying. They literally have a term called cutting the grass. They've been killing Palestinians since the fucking 50s, dude. Israel is not, res they're not responding. They are justifying what they've always wanted to do. Yes. Dude, they've been looking for an excuse to do a full-on assault on Gaza for decades, and they finally got it. Like, bro, like, are you fucking serious, man? See, this is what I mean when I say people just look at October 7th. No. I really? I, Pierce, what they are doing Slaughtering now... Slaughtering 1,500 people in the way they did it is not an act of terror by terrorists, but a response from the people who are on the receiving end rather like the response did from the allies 12, did you say in World War II people? to what the Nazis did, that apparently is the only act of terrorism. Didn't you say 12,000 people the Israelis have killed thus far? Yes. I saw a video of a 15-year-old girl with no legs begging to die. Yeah. Yep. She was begging so to that die too. saying, I have no future because my parents are gone or my legs are gone. It's I horrific. have no future. No, but you say that, right? You talk about numbers and statistics and you say a few people got caught. You don't think of Gazans and you don't think of as Muslims and Palestinians as individual people. Oh, yes, I do. No, you don't. Because oh, if you I did, do. If you oh, did, I do. If you did, you oh, no, would not be happy with what's happening Don't you dare say that about me. Well, okay, then don't no, group no, no. them together in numbers. No, no. They're I've not spoke, numbers. I've spoken people. for many years about the plight of the Palestinian people. I think it's outrageous that Israel has any control over their ability to function with water, with yep. fuel, yep. with uh, other energy, and so on, and okay, food. And that's so on. interesting. It so is if wrong. you were in Gaza as a Gazan Bro, male, pause. a mass They blocked them from getting chocolates one time. Chocolates? Yes. Bro, why, why would they do that? Like, because they're fucking dickheads. Like, they literally, they, they are in a concentration camp in Gaza. Netanyahu is the new fucking Hitler. They cannot leave Gaza. If they want to get medical treatment, they cannot leave Gaza and come back. Same thing with the West Bank. If they want to leave the West Bank to get treatment, they can't come back. Masculine fighting yeah. age, and you believe the things you currently believe, yeah. what would you do about it? I'm just asking. You know what? Nothing justifies the terrorism. We I saw never said you'd be a terrorist. I'm asking what you do. No, no. I understand why people in Palestine feel oppressed. I understand why they want freedom. I understand why they want the same rights as the people in Israel. Then here's a perfect on that. On that okay. we agree. Absolutely, but nothing, we agree. But nothing, nothing justifies what happened in October. Well, here's 7th. where we, here's where we disagree, Pierce. Because as a professional, when we both agree on the point that the people inside of Gaza are being oppressed mm. and that their life is being detrimented yep. and that they have no way of getting out, yes. we as a professional and I, I do agree with that. I understand pressure cookers explode. You're pretending they shouldn't. You're saying that they should yeah, never explode. Go. Nothing bad should ever happen. Nothing justifies just, terrorism. We should just be allowed to subjugate them no, for no. endless years Here's and my... nothing happens. No. And I'm a realist to understand that pressure cookers explode. No, you're not. And that's what happens. No, you're not. We need a solution to the problem or actually, it will continue to happen. You're not a realist because actually you are not accepting that what they did on October the 7th was an act of terrorism by terrorists. You won't accept that. You think actually they're freedom fighters doing some kind of resistance. And I say that is ridiculous and shameful. That's the difference between us. I understand that pressure cookers explode, Pierce. Right. So you think it's perfectly reasonable what happened there? I don't think it's reasonable. I think it's, I think it's a shame. It's a reality. Natural consequence. I think it's a shame. Mm. A shame. That's it. I think, I think it's a shame that we're living in the world now where people are reduced to basically suicide, mm. to try and fight for freedom for their families if they have one left. Mm. Because they all start. Pierce suicide. is basically mad that well, water is wet. Like, you can't light dynamite and not expect... It, the, the fuse to go off. Do you think he's getting paid by Zionists or does he actually believe this? Um, if I'm going to be all the way honest, I think he, he's deep down, he knows that Israel's in the wrong, but he can't overtly express that. So what he does is he brings guests on. But you think that, he can't overtly express that because of what is, that's what um, talk TV or whatever, that's what they're saying? Or is it that he's so, in, he's so ingrained in Zion, Zionism from years of mainstream news that he has to defend positions that he's been... Well, let's not forget history, for so my friend. The UK is Zionism headquarters. It was the UK. Yeah, the city of London. That it was, it was the Balfour Decla Declaration, which was s s pretty much set up by the Brits, okay, to get um, um, 
Israel, give Israel to, to, um, to the Jews. Mm. The Balfour Declaration, and who was that declaration to? The Rothschilds. Mm. Where are the Rothschilds from? United Kingdom. Mm. Mm. I mean, yeah, hey, man. Yeah, you, you, like, you, 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 just, you just, keep, just keep literally just going back and follow the trail, and it all leads back. It always goes back. To the United Kingdom, and Pierce is obviously a journalist in the United Kingdom. He knows who the bosses are. Right. He knows what he can and can't say. So what he's doing, and I think it's intelligent that he's doing this, he's bringing people from both perspectives and hearing both sides so he can uh, create a, um, an element of debate. He can say his discourse instead his discourse. of promotion. So he's, a, he's able to, to and he'll say things like, uh, like Greta Thunberg. How dare you insinuate yeah. that I'm blah, 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 blah. But if you look, he's brought on more pro-Palestinian people. Than pro yeah, shout out to Muhammad Ajab too. He brought on way more pro Palestinian people. Because the pro people, people aren't interesting. It's the same shit that we've heard for so long. Yeah, so he's brought on way more pro Palestinians. No, so right. I know what you're doing, Pierce. And hey, I think I know where he stands. But he has to be the opposition. He has to. That's what I think, personally. Sneaky, you should have a segment with Myron at least once a week. If you're doing desktop, he brings great insight. Yes, we should. Uh, thanks for the 10, Nate. Yo, Myron, I've been trying to get on that F and F. I'm a truck driver who could teach young men in excruciating detail how to get your CDL. I DM'd you. Let's be honest, bro. You're not going to get on the show. Like, Myron's going to say, like, oh, blah, 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 blah. You're not going to get on the show. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I'm going to be on. I'm going to be straight up. Like, you're not going <laughs> to. It's not even my show. I would, like, I know, the, I know how it goes. Well, when we're ready to do it, because we're going to do a blue collar section and teach guys how to Are get you going to have this truck driver on your show? Probably not him, okay. but okay. we're going to bring somebody on that can that has a lot of experience that's, you know, versed in the field, etc. Well, the Hamas they, didn't have a, they didn't have a chance of survival. I think when you well, that's oppress, because they that's because they believe that they're marching themselves no, and going to a better when life. You oppress people to the point where their family's dead and they have nothing to live for. Mm. So you, I think that's a shame. So you do you support Islamic fundamentalism? Absolutely not. Mm. Do you support an Islamist ideology? Absolutely not. Right. What I support. So why do you support Hamas? I support justice in do you the support universe. Hamas? I support justice in the universe. Do you Pierce. support Hamas? No. You don't? I, well, I don't know the ins and outs of Hamas's creed. I have to be very honest. Well, you know with what they did on October the 7th. Do you I, support I, them? I understand why that happened. And right. I'm saying it's a shame. But you won't denounce them. I say it's a shame. Will you condemn them? I'm, I, I can't sit here and condemn the obvious wow. outcome of, of wow. consequence. Really? How can I, I condemn? You can't them? condemn Hamas for what Condemn they water for being wet. What's going to happen? And we need a solution. So you're here. very quick to condemn Israel's response, but you won't condemn the terror attack which prompted it. No, I'll tell you why. Even though Hamas knew by doing what they were doing, that would be the response. Do you think they knew that? Of course they knew that. Do you think they knew the Israelis? They did it quite deliberately. You know why? Because they were funded and supported by Iran. They didn't like the fact that Israel was normalizing relations with a bunch of Arab countries, from the UAE to Bahrain to Morocco, and then coming Saudi down Arabia. the line was going to be Saudi Arabia. That yeah. was a threat to the Iran view of what should be happening in that region. Iran are the ones who support and fund and arm Hamas, and they uh, clearly, in my estimation, it hasn't been probably established yet, but clearly Hamas couldn't have done this on their own. They'd done it with support from Iran, and they'd gone and they committed an act of such heinous atrocity that they knew what the response would be and that means that they sentenced in that moment not just 1500 people in israel to death in the most appalling ma manner possible is it 1500 or 1200 pierce you keep switching the number around back and forth <laughs> keep switching the numbers around Wait, you know ceasefire well, agree I, 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 so let me ask you this does 1500 or 1200 justify the death of 15,000? wait a second people are saying ceasefire agreed is, is that true uh, yeah, for a few days for humanitarian efforts, and they're going to release some. Uh, so they're going to release like five hostages, I think, is what they negotiated. They were talking about it yesterday. Is it confirmed, Chat? Uh, I don't know if it's taken place yet, but I know the talks I heard was they're going to release five hostages uh, in exchange for five days of uh, ceasefire and um, uh, humanitarian aid, something like that. Ceasefire now. Uh, someone sent me a link. If it's, if it's actually four to five days ceasefire, six hours ceasefire. I mean, if they're really about it, they would just not abide by the ceasefire. I think it's either five days. I think it's five days, if I'm not mistaken. Can't be five hours. That's too short. Of if you were there right now, on, on in, to get aid in. If you were in Israel or Palestine right now, would you actually abide by the? Say you're a Hamas soldier. Oh, this you guy. actually abiding? I'm not saying you. Just because uh, you're Arab. I'm yeah, saying. yeah. Uh, am I abiding by what? I'm confused. The ceasefire, or you slide in anyway. Oh, they're gonna 100. percent So you know what they're gonna do? Both, like both parties are gonna do this. They're gonna restructure reform, regroup, sending clandestine um, services on both ends, probably more on the Israeli end, and keep doing what they're doing. Mm. That's what they're going to do. And, and here's the thing. Israel's already tried a few clandestine operations already and gotten fucked up. They've already sent their special forces in a few times and, and failed to rescue hostages surreptitiously. Didn't work out. So sentenced to death 
thousands and thousands of innocent That's why they're bombing them like that. Many innocent children because half the population are children and Hamas knew that was what was going to happen. Do you, so my question is, do you how can anyone think Pierce. that Hamas is a force for good I for the Palestinian a people? Good. They I are a force for good. I said they're, they're unfortunate. No, I didn't say they're a force for good. I said it's a pressure cooker and it's a shame. But you won't even condemn let me them. Ask, let me ask the question. Trying to switch do his words around. you gave the Palestinian people basic human rights that Hamas would find it more difficult to recruit new soldiers? Uh, I, yeah, look, I think probably. The, I think yeah, probably they would. If we treat them like humans. I think, this I, won't happen. I think the so we agree and let's move on. I think there's a real danger in the scale of Israel's response that you radicalize a whole new generation. Agreed. Yes, I think that's a real yes. danger. Yes, so everyone I, agrees with that. I've said Elon agrees with it. We agree with it. Even Pierce agrees with it. You cannot go ahead and sit there. We're waging a war on Hamas and then kill innocent people. All you're doing is strengthening their resolve and radicalizing them even more. For every person that you kill, you are literally creating one or two new future Hamas members. These guys that went into Israel and did what the fuck they did, they probably watched the family member die back in 2014. They probably had a grandfather that was displaced back in 1948 when the Israelis originally came in and kicked out 700,000 plus. You don't get radicalized uh, just in, a, in, a, in a, like, um, it takes time. It takes time and it takes a lot of acts to make people do that where you push them to the brink. Am I justifying their actions? No, but you also have to understand that if you light a fire and let it continue for long enough, in this case, 70 years, at some point, the forest is gonna burn down. There's consequences to actions, okay? When you kill innocent people, you are effectively creating new future Hamas members. I guarantee all these guys that went into Israel had a family member, had a relative, had a friend that was killed by IDF soldiers and said, fuck it, this is all I know. I'm gonna exact my revenge in this way, which obviously is heinous, you never kill innocent people, but these guys are desperate at this point. It's, uh, it's, it's just a sucky situation, man. You can never justify killing innocent people on either side. You, you, you can't. Ever. Ever. Well, I, want to show you I don't give a fuck if they're Israeli. I don't give a fuck if they're um, uh, Palestinian. Whatever it may be, there is never a justification to kill innocent people. Ever. I want to show you a funny video that I saw of uh, Israeli soldiers. Shout out to Halal Nation, by the way. It's a, a really good account on Twitter. Where is the video? Where is the video? Where is the video? They've been... Um, I can't find it. I can't find it. Oh, okay, so I'll, go, I'll find it later. Said that we can agree on so that. So perhaps it was Israel's actions before October seventh that radicalized the soldiers who invaded. So you agree with me? So let's move. No, on. I don't. No, nothing just justifies. Did. Nothing so, yeah, justifies just did. what they did. Just Let me did. ask you about the reaction that you've had from. Uh, Why does he keep saying it justifies it? Stage, uh, th this is what they do, bro. They they sit there and they contort your words and make it as if you can you uh you condone their behaviors if you don't condemn it. No. You do understand that you can be impartial and understand and not have a stance. You don't have to take a hard stance on this. You can literally be like, I understand. I'm not going to condemn or condone it mm -hmm. because both parties are wrong in this situation, mm -hmm. which they definitely are. It's just a moment of submission and, and guys like Pierce, yeah. they love doing that. Well, he's, he has to do that as the media guy. He has to do it. Mm -hmm. He has to take a stance. All right, man, I'm going to dip out. Sure. One is... You uh, leaving? Yeah. El Myron, bro, like always in a, what are you, you going to, you're going to the club right now to network? Come on, man. All right, don't be mind, everybody. I'm about to go, I'm about to go jump on with Elijah Schaefer right now. Okay. Uh, uh, I told him I, I would jump on, so. Yeah, I'm not going to the club, bro. This is my day off today. I'm still in here working with you. Always Greg. cooking, man. Always cooking. Come I'm on. I'm still in here working, man. So, uh, yeah, I'll be over there on his uh, thing on YouTube and Rumble. How much longer are you going to stay on stream? Um, another six hours. You know, I'm. I'm uh, I, uh, oh, you're going. You, you're going grind. Okay. I might still be live if you're done. If you want to. All right. Now you might want to take some time off. You don't need to come back unless you want to. Maybe I'll come back. Chad, if you want to back, type of one right now. Maybe I'll come back. All right. Um. Thanks, man. All right, bro. We'll see you soon. Later, Frank. I'm gonna get the door.